How are you? Santa's helper here. <laughs> Today I'm bringing another Christmas video to you. We're gonna be adding a ribbon to a Christmas tree. Look at this beautiful traditional color Santa and elves. How perfect is that? Are you excited? I'm very excited. It's gonna be easy and on the budget as usual. Let's get started. This is actually part two where I made a coordinating garland for this tree. Feel free to check it out if you haven't yet. First, I'm going to show you how to make a tree bow topper. Cut nine strips of ribbon, 36 inches long. I originally cut six, but it wasn't enough, so cut nine. And make sure you cut the fishtail at the bottom. Just one end, because the other one we are going to make a loop just like this and fold under. We are going to measure seven inch loops and pinch them just like this. Hold it with your thumb and grab another one. Measure another seven inch loop, pinch and hold. And continue doing that with all nine strips of your ribbon, alternating the colors. You can use one color, two colors, three colors, or as many as you like. <laughs> This is actually a great technique to use your leftover ribbons. Any scraps that you might have, uh, just make loops and put them all together in one bow, just like that. And as you can see, this is uh, my sixth one. I see that the bow is not that big. Uh, and I decide to just go for it, make three more and put it all together. So. This is a much bigger bow, perfect for a bow topper. Grab a piece of floral wire, tie it all together, flip it a few times around for a nice tight hold, and then you're just going to put your hand through each loop and fluff it up. And that's how easy it is to make a beautiful bow. Anybody could do it, even a beginner crafter. You don't need any special equipment, just your own two hands. So go for it, my bestie. Make a whole bunch of them. Put them on your tree, on your reef, on your staircase, on your garlands, presents. Sprinkle them everywhere. Make the whole place beautiful. <laughs> and I'm gonna use the wire in the back of the bow to tie it to the top of my tree, actually to my sister's tree. It's so beautiful. She got it this year at Home Goods. A very realistic looking, right? Just fluffing up the tails and voila, a beautiful tree topper, so fast and easy. If you decorate your tree all the way around, I would recommend making another one and attaching it from the back. Forgot to mention the ribbon comes from at home. And as you can tell, we are going to make an elf and Santa Claus themed tree. So much fun and whimsical for every child and inner child out there. <laughs> First, we are going to stuff an old elf hat with some bags. I got it years ago at Five Below. I think Dollar Tree sells elf hats too. I also have some old legs, but legs are everywhere this season. The cheapest of that size are at the Dollar General, $3 a piece. You insert them in your tree and twist tie those little pine tips at the ends to make sure the legs hold up. Next, I'm going to use a floral wire, pierce it through the hat on both ends and tie it down to one of the tree branches. You see like the little guy is stuck in my tree. Here's another old hat that I have. As you can tell, I love my hats. I've collected so many over the years. Might as well find another use for them. <laughs> this one I don't have to even stuff because it's pretty stuffed. I'm just using the wire and um, on both sides of the hat and I'm going to tie it down and make it look like Santa Claus is stuck in this tree as well. <laughs> Depending on your tree, you might not need a floral wire. You might just use the pine bristles. This tree has so many realistic uh, tips. They're very rubbery. I cannot twist tie them. Same goes for a real tree. If you're decorating a real tree, you need a lot of floral wire, right? <laughs> And here's my daughter's old baby hat, stuffed it with bags and attaching it to the side of the tree as well. And is this thinking cute or what? Oh my goodness. So Santa fell through the chimney down the Christmas tree. <laughs> and the best part that I'm repurposing things that I already had laying around my house. Please give me those little Santa emojis if you like that. And now let me show you how to put a ribbon on your tree. 
You leave a little tail about six inches long and you are going to attach it to your tree by twist tying two branches. If you have a real tree or you can't twist tie the branches, you might have to use a piece of floral wire. And then you run your ribbon loosely down or across and you find another two branches to twist tie the ribbon over there again. I want to actually fix it up, have the Santa's ribbon on top, and then I continue taking my ribbon down. I just find another two ties down there. My sister likes the ribbon going all the way across the tree, so I'm going to do one more run before I cut my ribbon, but you can cut it at any point really. One more twist tie, and then I cut it off, leaving about six inches tail. And then I'm going to run the Elf and Candy Cane ribbon across the other side. I actually have a piece left over. Uh, so I'm tying it over there, like leaving six, six inch tail like we did before. Running it loosely down and attaching it in the second place. And then one more run. Tuck it in between the branches. Look for a tie there. And I have some ribbon left over. I'm going to try to do the third run. Just pinch and attach it down there again. Loosen it up and I think we're going to make it work here. And now I'm going to run the same ribbon on the opposite side. Just folding my ends in half and cutting diagonally in an angle to get the fish tail. I'm going to pinch a little six inch tail and find a spot to attach it right there. Run it loosely down, tack it in between the branches and tie it down. Uh, let me loosen it up a little bit and let's do one more run. And let's tuck it in and tie it down there. Sorry you can't see it behind uh, Santa's leg, but you get an idea, yes? Uh, let me just loosen it up and cut off the remaining ribbon. I have a remaining strip of Santa's ribbon here, about four feet long. I'm going to pinch a six inch tail and attach it to my, my tree, just like we did before. Twist tie it with two tree branches. Run it loosely down, tuck it in between the branches and tie it down, leaving another six inch tail at the end. You will find this method to be the easiest, just doing single runs like that. And you can do your whole tree out of these. I've done that before. <laughs> and I'm going to do a few more like that around the tree. Wherever I see a, a little blank space, I'm going to just do small runs like that. Oops, excuse me. Here you go. Easy peasy. Just like that. My sister just brought me some fuel. You see what she got me? Dark chocolate and latte. <laughs> she knows me too well. That will get me to finish her tree. <laughs> so we got the ribbon done. This is what we did. Again, we're not decorating all the way around because her tree is pushed in that corner. But now we're going to move on to the ornaments. And I like to add the jumbo ornaments first. I simply tuck them in between the branches and fill in any holes that my tree has. Another budget-friendly option are these uh, large uh, plaque ornaments. They're perfect for our team, right? I just replaced those long ribbons with uh, wire hooks so I can attach these closer to each branch. And I like to get my ornaments in odd numbers. I got three of each 
and I'm hanging one color at a time, spacing these out throughout my tree in a triangle shape. Another fun ornament are these elf legs from a Dollar Tree. The only thing that they're so flimsy, so I have the bamboo skewers here and I ask my nephew Tommy to help me out. He inserts a skewer into each leg and that way they can stick up just like that. <laughs> Another great hack that I already showed you uh, with my garland video. You have a whole bunch of tiny ornaments. They look like dots on a big tree. So the way to make a big impact is to thread them on a pipe cleaner and add them as clusters throughout the tree. You see how much better that looks than just one single ornament. Next, we are going to add our medium ornaments and some of my favorite are these with the Santa Claus buckle. Aren't they cute? Dollar Tree has actually similar ones, a little bit smaller, but also cute. At the end, we are going to add all the special ornaments. We're going to showcase them at the tips of each branch. And when all the ornaments are done, we are going to add some Christmas pigs. I have a lot of these white snowballs, so I'm going to combine them with each of the colorful pigs. Simply put one on top of the other and wrap around its branches to create little clusters like that. That way it will be more visible and stand out. We are going to insert these throughout the tree. I really like the ones with the lollipops too. You had seen me use that in the gingy wreath. And make sure you also fluff these up. And look how cute that looks. They're gonna give a lot of interest to our tree. We're just gonna insert them here and there. And they're not big heavy picks, so you should be able to just slide them in. If you like, you can secure them with a pine tip or with a piece of floral wire. I don't know if you noticed these two signs in the back. I got them at a Dollar Tree and they fit our theme perfectly. The only thing is that they're a little bit plain. I have some of these leftover ribbon from last year. I'm just going to make simple bows, something like this. And I'm going to tie it together with those pine ties. You know, they sell these also at a Dollar Tree in a pack of 12, I think. Uh, you can curl the ends if you like and I'm gonna attach that to the top of my signs just for a little bit more interest. You can add a bell in the middle and look how cute, much better, right? One dollar decor right there, I just love it. And I'm gonna use the remaining ribbon as a little accent uh, throughout the tree. Uh, simply untying the pine tips right there, attaching that ribbon and then curling up the ends just like this. It's a very easy trick to add some more interest to your tree. I'm going to repeat that in a few more places throughout the tree. And that's going to be it. Please take a look at the final result. I hope you like it. But even if this is not your style tree, I hope you learned something new and I had inspired you to think outside the box and decorate on the budget.
right, my besties. So this is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me thumbs up. Also consider subscribing so you don't miss out any future DIYs coming up, okay? Thanks so much for watching. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.